I am very, very angry. Hi and welcome to Hua Wen Lao Shi, the one channel for tips, tricks and insights to preparing for your Chinese O-level exams. I have bought 180 B5 craft notebook from Taobao. I received the books and they were not in the best conditions. So today I'm going to walk you through how to write a complaint email. You will not only be able to use them in your O levels exams, but you might be able to use them in your everyday lives in the future. Former email, the content mark is 8 and the language mark is 12. I will fill in the sender's email, the uh, recipient's email, the date which I can refer to from the informal email and usually it's the opposite of your English date. Write my intention to complain, so I write Toshu. I will write about specifically what I want to complain about and that is the goods not being the same as stated in the advertisement. And this yellow part, you can actually extract it from your question criteria during the exams. Right. So now I'm going to um, address the person that I'm writing this letter to, Zhang Jingli. Well, it depends on the question criteria that you are given during exams. It could be Zhang Ju Zhang, Zhang Lao Shi, Zhang Xiao Zhang, Zhang Jing Zhang. In the beginning, I will introduce myself, right, and be polite. So I will say, Nin Hao, Wo Shi Gui Gong Si de Zhong Shi Gu Ke. I could easily write, Wo Shi Yi Ming Gu Ke. But I want to up the language game, so I will use a formality term to describe, and I call it Gui Gong Si, means your, your company. So I'm the company's loyal customer. I would plonk in some words that I memorized from a template. Um, I'm especially writing this letter to you to complain about my goods not uh, received as advertised. 特制此函是为了投诉 Short and simple, 0.5 marks on the content. 两个星期前, 我向贵公司购买了180本B5牛皮笔记本. I write down the context and then I will move point by point into how I describe the scenario. So the first scenario. 货物送到时, 我只接收到24本, 其余的货没有一起送到。这令我感到纳闷, the first point I'm writing is that I've only received 24 books. After that, I write about my concern. I'm feeling confused and I'm not sure if my other goods are lost. So I'll move on to write the second point. What I saw when I unpackaged that. Next, when I'm checking the goods, 检查货物时, 我发现书本的封面受损了,其中16本书有折痕。as I'm checking the goods, I, I noticed that some of the books, their cover are spoiled. And of these books that I received, 16 of them has crumpled marks on their cover. So I'm now going into detail on uh, why these goods are not as advertised. Right, so I talked about my disappointment. I'm going to use a connector to let the reader know that I'm moving into the third point. Okay, not only so. Right, so I'm going to talk about the inner part of the book having a lot of and then I, t I would go deeper into how this will be very troublesome for me. I cannot use them for my intended use if there are already marks inside. When I open the book, I found a certain book that I didn't use these books. It's not possible to Second point where I noticed in the inner side there are so many marks that I cannot use it myself. I cannot give it to my friends. Because I have already listed down three points. Suggestions on improvement. Of course, uh, you really cannot just look at mine and say that, okay, in every single formal email that I write in the exams, I have to give the suggestions. It may not be true. You have to look at the question criteria that's given to you if it specifically says give suggestions. Then you give suggestions. But if it talks about other things such as talk about the importance of customer service, then you talk about the importance instead of giving suggestions. You have to be very clear with the 
question criteria. You see, you see, actually, in um, is it, it sounds very posh, right? It actually just mean in light of this situation. So you are you're not just addressing the manager; you are actually addressing the whole company. So do not vent your frustration on the manager. Right. 有鉴于此，我有一些建议要提供给贵公司参考。So the first suggestion, I actually think that they should refund me the money for the spoiled book. Right. So 赔偿 means compensate. You have noticed that I made this in point weird, but this is one way that you can、uh, make your points across very clearly. The second point I want to bring up is because I have noticed that the delivery is problematic. They didn't send everything to me at one go. Since I purchased it from the same company, 贵公司在运送货物时应该考虑将所有物品包装在一起。Here I'm telling the company that when they are sending over the goods, they can consider to pack all the goods together so it can avoid the most unnecessary anxiety over not receiving the goods. These ping words are quite used when we want to complain about services, especially with online shopping. The the third, I noticed that the covers are are spoiled, so I will. Um, talk about how they can handle this properly. And、uh, the the thing that the company should really take note of when they are sending their goods. So, um, before sending their goods, the company should really uh inspect the goods quality. So it will not affect their reputation in the field. 贵公司应该在运送货物前先检查货品的质量，这样才不会影响贵公司在业界的口碑。Uh, make the whole process of refunding really smooth because the company is actually at fault, right? So I don't want to go through a huge hassle of having to, you know, return the goods and then uh give multiple calls and all the frustrations that build up when the services is not as good as what we have expected. Right? So uh maybe I was just. Set up a good system for refund. 减轻麻烦 These are the four suggestions that I want to give the company after I have mentioned the whole scenario. If I'm a reader looking at this um essay, I would actually think that it's really coherent, very systematic, and、uh, quite efficiently explaining all the points in these four places.、Uh, I would just、uh, leave a paragraph after every point. If I actually have the connectors that will bring my readers' attention to the next point that I'm talking about, so I believe that many of you would probably end off like this because、um, I know many students you have a template that you memorize off from. So today I really want to teach you how to bring your language game up a level. Okay, by changing some of the content inside to really match up with the scenario that you are talking about. Now we want to look at how we can make this even better. 作文您一向从善如流 I but、uh, I wouldn't want to write this here. Um, I want to emphasize on importance of services. Uh, since the company is actually providing me a service by uh selling me the good. I have bought the books based on the reputation that the company has online. I will um emphasize that. 素文您一向重视服务水平，从善如流，办事效率高。贵公司也在网络购物平台上有良好的口碑，恳请您采纳我的建议，并尽快解决问题。谢谢。So、I emphasize a lot on services because I know I'm complaining about their services. I'm, you have to write something positive、uh, at the end because you don't want to leave the person on a negative note. After all, you are asking him to help you because I bought I bought the books based on all the good reviews and the raves online. So I'm going to tell the company that hey, you have really good reputation, right? So in a way, it will guilt trip the company into really processing me,、uh, processing this、uh, quickly for me. Right, so I will write. Uh, 贵公司也在购物平台上有良好的口碑 I sincerely hope that you would take my suggestion and I change the bag. 尽快采取行动 is usually used in cases where you need them to get into action, do something drastic. However, this、uh, in my case, it's more like I have issues here and you need to help resolve this. I will sign off with my um full name. You will realize a few things from this that. I have written the content marks. I had three points on the scenario, four points on the suggestion, zero point five, zero point five each for the beginning and the ending. If you made any mistake on the format, it will be negative marking. 
right for every mistake that you make it's minus one mark and the maximum marks that can be minus of is four marks in the language part i used a lot of gui gong si right because i want to formally address the company i use connectors to make sure that my point flow from one point to the other you can take a look at the blue part where i use connectors or connecting phrases at this part i break up the points so they can flow from one to another very uh, fluently. Uh, I also use a lot of words that are thematic based, right? When we talk about services, we use these words. Okay, I would say thematic words here, we have gu ke, customers, when we talk about services. Uh, huo wu, good, hui huan, return. Tui kuan, refund. Pei chang, compensate. Bi mian, avoid. Yun song, deliver. Ho bei, reputation. Right, three things. Okay, number one, present your points coherently flowing from one to another. Two, use connecting phrases or connectors to break up your points, allowing people to know that you have moved on. Three, use a lot of thematic vocabularies so you can up your language game. If you think all these tips and tricks are really useful, please remember to subscribe and like the video. Also remember to click on the notification bell. Check out my previous video on the five mistakes that students make during their Chinese exam prep and the upcoming video will talk about the five misconceptions that students have with regards to Chinese O-level exams. We'll see you next time. Bye!